Marcia Hopkins. I'm the Youth Advocacy Program Manager at the Juvenile Law Center. Um, I just want to add a little bit to the, young, the stories that the young people um, shared is that one thing that I always get from talking with them is that a lot of the reasons why they went into placement are things that could have been taken care of in the community. Um, so one thing I want to elevate about Pula's story is that a lot of her truancy issues were already um, heightened because her school was an hour and a half away. Um, and there may have been some family issues or things that were already happening that if their families received support or if the young person received the support in the current schools that they were attending, um, I just don't believe that they would have been sent away. Um, so really thinking about how we can offer services in the Philadelphia community to tackle these issues um, because I really think that kids are being criminalized and incarcerated for reasons that are normal adolescent behavior or things that we can fix um, within our community. Different issues and concerns. I'm finding so many different mentalities today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built 